Hey everyone, uh, this is the first video I made in a while. This is a derelict, a replica of derelict. It's for a customer and I think this is probably the most accurate replica of derelict that's been done so far, in my opinion, not just because I made it, but um, I met up with Brady at Chicago Comic Con and actually held the real derelict. Uh, he was kind enough to bring it and let me look at it, take some pictures. Super nice guy. Um, we talked about some of the details of it. Um, so, here, we, yeah, so this is it. Um, this is for a repeat client of mine that I did a uh, scrap tech for with a, another vintage telegraph top. But here we go. This is from, we'll go from the front to the back. This is a vintage telegraph that I cut by hand and these pretty much the same parts that Brad used except for this we'll get to that um, vintage red button the TCSS shorty pins we have a aperture blade plug that's on a solid acrylic rod that I machined um, TCSS glass eye control box, amber switch, rib section that was machined down to fit the Graflex top. Um, this part was a part Brad had in his parts bin, so and he didn't know what it was, so I wasn't able to get my hands on one. So I modified some TS TCSS extension, a three inch extension, and uh, sleeve. I milled out the slots in the sleeve. And the slots have milling marks on the original one, so that worked out pretty good. I, I wasn't really kind to this, just so I could weather it up a bit. Because Brad was, isn't kind to the derelict either. He had it thrown in a backpack. It was pretty dented and dinged and... Not dented, but dinged up and scratched up. This is an original... Ace Rocket run Obi Pommel that I had. I replicated the two dents on it. That's on the original. There we go. I didn't weather it up too much, but this is an original one done year from the run years ago, the first run. So that's as good as you're going to get pommel wise for a derelict. So this, yeah, this is it. Um, I even got that detail that Brad said. That a lot of people miss. It's the the slot that locks the Graflex clamp onto. That wasn't completely cut out. That's on the original derelict. So yeah, everything is as close as I could get. That's an original Graflex screw. And it's got a Petit Crouton 4.0. Got a kill switch instead of a kill key. I didn't want to drill through that. I wanted it to look a little cleaner. The original one has the kill key sticking out, but I wanted it to look cleaner. So got a Railmaster speaker, 1.3 millimeter recharge port that I'll include an adapter with. And there you have it. It's red because I the original LED he had in there from the first derelict was red. So we decided to put a red one in there. White flash on clash, just like the old school ones were. No, no sex board in there. Just old school.